Well, hello, welcome back to my study. What sort of things do you trust or what sort of people do you trust and what makes you trust those things or people? Press pause, have a think. Well, I guess from the uh, most mundane, we trust a chair that looks sturdy, don't we? Uh, we, we need a, a, a chair that looks like it's going to hold us. We don't want to do a, a, a comedy sit down and fall on the floor, do we? Uh, we, we trust uh, a, a, a bus timetable or a train timetable if we've got experience that it is likely to be accurate and the bus or the train is likely to be on time. We trust Google Maps to get us from one place to another, probably. Uh, we, we trust a person who has got uh, a good track record of being trustworthy, don't we? Uh, we don't trust somebody who's unreliable. We know that. We trust things that are sturdy in their way, don't we? Whether it's a sturdy personality or a sturdy chair or a sturdy history of being accurate. Now, in uh, Isaiah 28, we have a very trustworthy thing to see. Uh, we, we've seen so far this week that uh, the people of uh, Judah and of, uh, and of Ephraim are untrustworthy. But we've got a trustworthy alternative here. Let me take you to verse 16. The Lord says, See, I lay a stone in Zion, a tested stone, a precious cornerstone for a sure foundation. The one who relies on it will never be stricken with panic. I wonder if you recognise that verse. It's quoted in the New Testament. We'll be reading it on Sunday from uh, 1 Peter. And the stone is Jesus himself, the foundation, the one on whom we build. And, and if we build our lives, build our church, build our hopes on Jesus, then we are building on the most trustworthy person ever. See how God describes uh, Jesus here? I lay a stone in Zion. A stone is something we can stand on, isn't it? Uh, I'm reminded of the, uh, the, the the two builders in the Gospels. Uh, the, the, the wise builder, he builds on the rock. The foolish builder, he builds on the sand. And uh, it's the kids songs, isn't it, that stick in your mind? Uh, when the rain came down, the floods came up and the house on the stand, uh, the house on the sand, uh, fell flat, but the house on the stone, on the rock, stood firm. If we build on Jesus, we will stand firm. And that means we won't panic. The people in Isaiah 28 were, were facing military action from Assyria in the north, eventually, and they were scared. But if they put their hopes in God, they didn't know Jesus' name, but they knew that God's promises were rock solid. Well, they should have done anyway. If they put their trust in God, then they would stand firm because they'd have been on a solid foundation. So who can we trust? We can trust Jesus, can't we? He's the one on whom we can build. Let me pray for us. Our Father, thank you for this little uh, nugget of Jesus, this appearance that he makes, a cameo appearance in, in, uh, in Isaiah 28. And we pray that... We would be uh, those who build on him. Thank you that we can trust him. Thank you that he is the one who is firm, a firm foundation for us to build our lives, our church, our hopes, everything on. So please would we build on him and so stand firm and not panic whatever comes our way. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. See you soon.